Hello and welcome to Steins Gate Zero, episode 6. For uncut reactions and early access to all of my shows, including Steins Gate Zero, make sure to check my Patreon. Link will be down in the description below. Also, if you want to chat about Steins Gate or any other anime I'm watching, make sure to check my Discord as well. Link for that as well will be in the description below. With that being said, though, let's jump into this episode. This is episode 6. Let us go. What the heck is this? They're not connected to CERN anymore. <laughs> Even though I feel like she could be the red hair girl. I think they were tailing her. Everyone is tailing her. The red hair girl. It looks like Moeka was interested in her, which could mean that she's there again. I think we saw a glimpse of a suit that could be her suit. You know, that spandex costume she had. So it could be her again. But this time, maybe the, the landlord is not the one who's in control of that, because I still believe that Nei-chan is there. I think he would never do anything co to compromise his daughter, to put her through that. No, even though if, if they instructed, if he instructed them not to do anything to his daughter, right? Even if he said that they can't put a finger on her, it would still be a psychological, there would still be a psychological precautions or after effects of something like that. No, even if no one gets killed, just just the fact that they got raided like that, that they got, you know, someone will get kidnapped probably. That that's like the best thing that can happen at the moment, and that has to be something he won't let his daughter go through. I feel like so he has. To not be the boss of this. He he has to be he has not he he's definitely not the guy who's in control of this. That's what I'm trying to say. For sure. Now this maybe isn't even Moeka. The the one in control can be that woman professor. I can't remember her name right now, but because of the way she looked at our red hair girl. I, I I literally can't remember the name. I want to say Kagura, but I feel like Kagura is the, the last boss, the last enemy from Naruto. So then I don't think it's Kagura. But it's something similar. But yeah, uh, definitely. I feel like it could be either Moeka or that lab woman. However, Moeka was there in when when Okabe met the green hair girl and the professor. Moeka was there. It could be that she's just you know she was just doing her job, but it could be that she's working for them actually, which could mean that Moeka is involved and the the boss of the operation, you know, the one hiring her and those dogs was actually the that female professor. And she's probably working with the Professor Charles because he's a time traveler. And I'm sticking with that he's a time traveler for the time being until proven wrong. And I don't think you're a good guy if you're a time traveler. Or at least you know that you're here with the enemies, right? Maybe he's actually trying to help Okabe from the future. Um, but his purpose is working with her so he can kind of help him from the inside. That's also a possibility. But I feel like higher possibility is that they're working together. And they, they're some sort of enemies. Now, why did Amadeus cut off? I have no idea. Maybe she could have worn Okabe? 
or he didn't want her to witness what's happening to them. But I feel like the lab has to be involved in that sort of thing, definitely. Now, I hope Mayuri doesn't die again. I hope that it is just kind of the same beginning, you know. The the clock has stopped, the watch has stopped, and then that's that. You know, it, it just means that they will get raided. But it doesn't mean that she has to die, or anyone has to die for that fact. And I feel like it was pretty lucky that Suzuha's mother was actually the one that escaped there. But I definitely don't want to say that she had anything to do with it. Because I feel like Suzuha would know if she was involved somehow. I feel like Suzuha would know up until this point. And I feel like she had only... You know, only good things to say about her mother. Nothing really bad. Even though that would be before her getting born, but still, right? I feel like she definitely would know something about it. So I don't think that's the case. I, I think her mother is good. I think she's, you know, she's fine. Now, what's going to happen in the next episode, I have no idea. I hope nothing bad happens, but it's been already six episodes. I think we're only getting 12, 13. Maybe we're getting 25, but I don't know. So, I, I think it's... Oh, yeah, actually, we are getting 25. Or 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of time to, to kind of progress through the story. But I feel like at this point it's about, you know, it's it's about to start. And I feel like the one interesting thing, I'll have to go to the original Steins Gate to check that out. But I feel like around episode 6 or 7, it started to go down in, in, in the normal one as well. It started to... For, for that first raid, Mayuri getting killed... I think it was similar, maybe a few episodes after, because they had to introduce the phone microwave, the D-mail, and then a few D-mails later, Stern appeared. I think it was maybe a few episodes after episode 6, but I feel like it would be pretty damn interesting to see if it was actually episode 6, and then from now on, what are the parallels from Steins Gate, aka the Alpha Line, and now Steins Gate Zero, aka the Beta Line. You know, what are the kind of the same events that happen in both lines? Because so far a lot of things have been different. Like from just the amount of, of people hanging around the lab, Mayuri's cosplay girls, you know, just the way Suzu acts in this line. You know, a lot of stuff, uh, the, the events themselves, meeting the Professor Amadeus, everything along those lines. A lot of stuff have changed. Maybe even too much. That could be another red flag for, for what's happening. You know, maybe he came from the future and then changed stuff. Maybe the original battle line wasn't like this. And, and then he changed it. But if that was big enough change, would he switch to like a gamma line or alpha line or... And I feel like alpha line is cemented now that Okabe uh, let Makisa die, right? And he saved Mayuri. I, I feel like... Or he saved Mayuri rather than let Makisa die. He saved Mayuri... And that's kind of cemented Alpha Line. But then, as we're seeing now, I mean, we're not seeing Mayuri dying, but... Oh my god, it's so... I, I feel like I should just stop here. I'm kind of assuming Mayuri will die I mean, again. But that doesn't make sense. What distinguish Alpha Line from Battle Line anymore if Mayuri dies again? You know, what's that big change from Alpha to Beta? I guess undoing the sand stuff. 
to put him back to better. Right? Because until he undid the Ser and stuff, I mean, that led to Mayuri dying, but ultimately it was hacking into Ser and all that stuff. But I wonder why, like, changing Fire's past, if we look at it like that, changing Fire's past, letting her father live, which resulted in just the whole city changing. It was a city-wide change, and it didn't result in changing lines from Alpha to Beta or something like that. But then, you know, Cern and one person dying, which is Mayuri, it changed the lines. Why am I completely now misremembering Science Gate already? And something else changed the line. First. No, actually, what changed the line was Makisa dying. It wasn't even Mayuri, it was Makisa dying that changed the line. So Makisa died in the battle line first, in the first episode, then he went to Alpha line to prevent, I mean, prevent Makisa from dying. Yeah, well, she didn't die. He kind of did prevent it from, from happening. But then Mayuri died later. Which doesn't mean that Mayuri won't die in this one. It just means that it didn't happen yet. Right? Because the whole change was Makisa. Makisa living, Makisa dying. Damn. So I wonder if, if, if some large-scale change, like the lab, if lab didn't exist before in this battle line, and then they came back, would that change the line in which he were? Like, would that make him go into gamma line? Or would that, you know, still be a battle line? I feel like that would have to be a gamma line, or it would be a paradox. Because if he would stay in battle line, in the line where he grew up, without the lab without everything and then he went back in time to change it all and to make a lab you know i guess it doesn't necessarily have to be a paradox if that lab didn't affect him growing up right if that lab had no effect on him getting to the point where he back in went back in time and made a lab But then, how would that even be possible if it had no effect? Like, why would you go back in time to make a lab? Or rather, how would you know that lab that lab wasn't there already? If that makes sense. Like, if he was growing up and he saw that lab already existed, then he wouldn't go back in time to make it, right? Like, how would he know that he was the one who went back in time to make it? That wouldn't make any sense. But then... If there was no lab... I'm just thinking too much into it. I, I just don't... I, I'm, I'm getting lost in my own thoughts right now. I just kind of can't wrap my head around all of that. So it's, it's just better to, not to think too much about that. It's all timey-wimey. Anyways, so... I guess I just need more information to comprehend all of this. With that being said, though, this will be it for me for this one. My question for you guys is... Did you think that this was... Suzu... Not Suzu, huh? That would be a plot twist. Did you think this was Moeka? Moika's plan, or is if it was the the female professor's plan, or if it was someone else entirely that orchestrated all of this behind the scenes. 
If you like my reaction, like what I had to say, make sure to leave me a like, though. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe as well. New episodes are coming every Mondays and Fridays, as always. I wish you have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll be seeing you next time with more of Steins Gate Zero. Until then, though, bye-bye, guys.